Grace and peace to all who do the will of our Father in Heaven. I haven't um, posted in a minute on this channel. And um, that's, yeah, I was busy working on that last video called The Ultimate Gender War, um, Lucifer, the Queen of Heaven. And I decided at the last minute, I don't know, maybe it was not my idea. Maybe it came from the Father in Heaven. I don't know. I don't like to, I don't like to say God led me or God told me to do this and that all the time. You know, sometimes it's just us. Sometimes it's not. And sometimes we, we have, we have trouble knowing the difference. So on, I err on the safe side and just say that it was my uh, decision at the last minute to also address some comments to, uh, Brother Minister Theo, you know, a, a fellow Detroiter, he might remember me, he might not. But we talked um, some years ago, <laughs> back when he said, uh, he made a comment in the video that <laughs> I still remember and I still laugh about today. It's when he had, I think he was in a hotel, and he, or I can't remember exactly where he was, but there was this huge cockroach or something that he got. <laughs> and he basically exercised the cockroach and flushed him down the toilet. <laughs> it said, you know, be chained there. It remained there. <laughs> that was, I still remember that. That was so funny to me. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so last week, Tuesday, um, about, like I said, it was probably well, not even two days after I uploaded that video. I, um, developed a fever and I um I had been sick since I had been running a fever almost every day all the way up to today is Monday yesterday is Sunday and I had a fever um Sunday so almost the whole week I was running fevers and it turns out that I had a double ear infection both of my ears were infected my voice sounds a lot better now than it did uh Saturday and I'm in a lot less pain now than I was Saturday, but I'm still in. I'm I'm, at, I'm back at work again, and honestly, I, I feel like I should still be at home, but I'm still in pain. Um, and, and my head, my head is hurting, and my throat hurts when I talk too much. So I probably won't make this a long video. Um, I didn't I didn't make this video to complain, but <laughs> so one of the things though that. Let me, since I'm, I might, I'm address both of you. I might as well say this now before I forget. Um, I know, I, in the past, I have told you about some things, or at least some, the way I saw the world and the adversary. And I know that you disagree, but I still have a a, a feeling or a belief that maybe. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell you that uh, you should still be not open-minded. What I want to say is that leave, maybe leave room to see something. I'm just going to, maybe I should, just, I'm just going, I don't know, I don't know how to put, put things into words sometimes, but I just leave it at that. Because this world is, as I have um, come to learn, is full of mysteries. And some things were kept a mystery. And not that I'm anybody special, but I truly do believe that the Father has allowed me to see into one of those mysteries. And I'm thankful for that. And, and regardless of maybe some people taking it as pride, I don't have any pride about that at all. I'm thankful, and sometimes, most often, I'm often remorseful because I don't, as I have said before many times on multiple channels, 
sometimes I wish I never ever looked into it at all because it has added um, some some trouble to my life and that might yeah I'll just leave it at that so when I woke up Tuesday and I hope you know I hope you all are able to follow along with me when I woke up and I was running that fever and first of all let me tell you though what I prayed before before I even came down with the fever um I told the most high I don't remember if it was Sunday night when I went to bed or Monday night which which night it was but I asked the father I said you know I don't really care about metrics or YouTube metrics or views or whether or not it appears the video is reaching anybody anymore you know I'm I'm long past caring about reach at the at, at the point I was when I made that video I I didn't care about whether or not anybody saw the video I cared about whether or not I had told the truth that was it that was that was it flat out plain and simple and I told the father one uh, Sunday or Monday night I don't care about metrics I don't care about views I don't care about subscribers none of that as long as I know that I have told the truth and that I have done what you asked me to do that would be enough for me so if you could just confirm to me that I have done what I was supposed to do that would be enough so whether it was that night or the night after I had a fever <laughs> you know I woke up I almost don't want to even say I'm going to be completely real and honest even though it was like three it was 3 30 all right I hate it I hate I hate to say it but I woke up and I looked at the time and it was 3 30 and I was like what you know and I had a fever and I was like um oh man you know and I felt I did feel myself coming down I, th I thought I felt some little cold symptoms coming on but I thought it was you know gonna be all right and um but it turns out okay I got a fever and so by, by the time it was time to go to work I was feeling okay. I was I wasn't feeling great. I wasn't feeling bad though. And so I went to work. And I tried to work for a little bit. And I thought, you know, I'm really feeling tired and hot. And I'm like, well, I don't, you know, maybe I'm just being a little a wimp, but you know, I could try to work through it. But then I was like, no, nah, you know, why 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 am I pushing myself? And that kind of goes into my whole attitude of why sometimes I don't want to tell people I'm sick or even pray ask for prayer you know I was going to try to push through it and fight through it and then I got to a point where I said no I'm just going to go home and so I went home I told you know my um, boss and I went home and I laid down and I rested and then yep I uh, started running fevers and every day that was Tuesday so I'm I, I was sick at home sick for the rest of the week and Saturday I was still sick, but I know um, Tuesday and Wednesday I was still determined to um, not Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, I think it was maybe Wednesday. I think I was still determined to get something done. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this fly out of this car. Fly came in my car. <laughs> get out. Um, so I was still determined, and it's on the windshield too. It's like a little tiny little fly. Like the door is open. Get off the windshield. Go outside. Um, I was still determined to um, to edit, to re-edit the video, the Ultimate Gender War Part Two that I had made some months earlier, because I had this feeling like when I went back and watched it again. I really didn't like how apologetic I was um, about the viewpoints that I had 
especially concerning the adversary. I was kind of just really like apologetic about what I had to say. And I thought uh, it, it didn't feel good. It didn't feel right. And so I said, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to re-edit this video. And so I did begin re-editing it. And um, I was recording Saturday and I know that I, I, part of me was like, you know, you could always wait until your your body is better, and your voice is better, so that it doesn't sound terrible on the recording. But at the same time, I also thought, you know, I but I really, I really want to to fight. Basically, I don't know why. I just I just felt that way. And. But let me let me rewind. Let me go back. So like 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 I mentioned, I had prayed that prayer for confirmation that I had told the truth, that I had did what I was supposed to do. To be honest, when I developed that fever, and I and I was sick, that made me question things. You know, I I was wondering, and I and I I honestly thought not another fly about to come in the car. Go. That's why I shouldn't leave the windows open. I'm especially partnering some trees. Um, I was really wondering, you know, was this a good sign or a bad sign that I... But, you know, I also have faith because I know I prayed. I, I prayed to the Father years ago, and I still do, that and when He speaks to me, that He would speak to me clearly in a way that I can't miss and in a way I can't can't misunderstand. And so but I also didn't want to say that I was I was suffering an attack because of the video that I made. So really I was not quite sure what to make of it and I didn't really want to tell people how I felt because I know that that could be an opportunity for people to to claim that, yeah, I was um, in the wrong for making the video. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I just didn't want to put that out there. But also, um, I still had that feeling, though, inside of me that I needed to do part two, re redo part two. And to really be unapologetic about my stance and what I believed that the Father had revealed. You know, that was in me and I had to, and, and whether I was right or wrong for not waiting until my voice sounded better, you know, maybe, who knows, we'll see, I guess. I just know that I had to act on that feeling that I had. But you know, the Bible says that, you know, we can be led by our, the desires of our own heart. So I'm always kind of questioning to wonder if I'm following my own self or if I'm following the most high that is always at the front of my mind. And so I have to believe, though, that the father is. And I ask him, like, like you like you kept Abimelech from sinning. I believe you could do the same for me. And I'm always asking him to, to keep me on the path and to keep me from straying from what he wants. So at the end of the day, I'm always wondering, but I'm always still kind of moving forward. And it happens that I um, started watching a, a, the live stream from uh, Unplug Him, Minister Theo, um, what was it? I can't remember what day it was. Was it Saturday? And um, and he mentioned something about he saying people will say you know because he he had been suffering attacks on his um heart his um hardware his computer hardware or software or whatever just his technology and he 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 was saying though that. Many people will say that they're be, they've been attacked by the devil, but what have they done to the devil to the, to to warrant the devil's attention, basically? And so when he said that, that did kind of put my mind in a different, uh, 
I mean, it did kind of kind of help me a little bit because I was thinking, well, yeah, I did actually do something that would cause the devil to be angry. So I guess that would be more of a witness that me falling sick was an attack because I had done the right thing. And again, like I said, I do believe that the Father can speak to me clearly if I hadn't done what he desired me to do. And so I I have a very strong leading. And this is why I must tell bro Theo that what he believes about the adversary he should you should leave room to have your mind um to have the father deal with what you believe i just put it that way and it, and it also happens that in that video he began to talk about something to do with the mother goddess worship now i didn't watch the whole video and i'm probably going to watch it today but I'm going to be completely honest. The reason why I didn't watch the whole video is because over the last couple of years, not couple, but, you know, it's basically since I've been on YouTube trying to tell people about um, Satan and what I believe the revelation was, all the years of basically people not hearing me had made it kind of hard for me to bear, to listen to certain things. So when, um, what I mean by it's hard to listen is, is kind of, I'm, I, I feel grief, basically. You know, and it's not that people did anything wrong. People didn't do anything. They're not, people are not wrong for not listening to me. That's not what I mean. But I'm grieved and I feel grief because for so long I have been trying to to speak to people and and very 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 few very few can hear and so when people began to talk and, and, and I watch videos and they start going off or going into discussing the goddess worship it's hard for me to listen to it you know, I have to withdraw. You know, because it, it it's it it's painful. So I withdraw. But I'm going to try to listen to that whole video today. Am I over my break time? I probably am. It feels like I am. Um, I can't see the time. Um, let me open up. But the time is my car show. It's not even showing me the time. Thanks a lot, car. Thanks a lot. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I think I'm over my break time. All right. So, let me wrap this up. Um, Bro Minister Theo, Bro Theo. Yeah, I'm, uh, I know I've talked to you before. And I've talked to every anybody and everybody you can think of on YouTube. Not even, I mean, who else? Um, <laughs> people who... Who are who are not even on YouTube who are more more famous people. I've reached out to everybody who I could possibly reach out to. But I understand that at the time, especially early in the days, I really didn't have things together. So it really what I what I say now sounds crazy and it sounded even crazier back then. But I don't believe I have been mistaken. I truly do believe that the Father has been trying to, trying to tell people. And I might be the worst vessel of all for him to, to work through. Because, I don't know, maybe, or, you know, I tell myself, yeah, well, people aren't going to hear. If something is true, that doesn't mean it's going to be popular. But then again, at the same time, you know, when you see people on YouTube, Telling blatant lies, that takes off and goes all around the world. So, I mean, there's always, like I said, there's always room to wonder and to not be sure. But I, I feel with all the sincerity of my heart that 
there's a mystery in that many people, what many people, what, what everybody believes. It's hard for me to say it. I don't know. Maybe the Father will make it clear to you. Um, I, I do believe that you hear Brother Minister Theo. I do believe that you hear him. I do believe that. So I will, I will say have him um, make sense of what I'm saying to you. And I believe he can do that. So thank you all for listening. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.